Let's go to question number 23. Question number 23 is speak about the protein and uh, the protein senses here. Uh, let's read the question first. Uh, what is the effect of absence of anticodon of UAC during the translation process? Uh, each protein consists of uh, three uh, uh, code. The first code UAC, it means, let's read the choice first. Uh, so we'll answer it later. Uh, number A, translation stop completely. No, it will not, uh, the codon, the stop codon. Number B, translation continuous uh, and uh, Continuous and tryptophan is absent. Uh, the translation, it will continuously and tryptophan is not found. No, it's not a tryptophan code. Number C, methionine will not be formed. Yes, that's the answer. Uh, but we must read the choices, all the choices. Translation, continuous and uh, uh, tyrosine is absent. No, it's not the code of tyrosine. It is a code of methionine. It will not form it because the absence of UAC. So the answer must be methionine will, will not be formed because this is the code of methionine. Let's go to question number 24. Question number 24, go to air science. I like air science. Let's read the question and find the answer. Uh, the branch of geology that is spe specialized in studying the climate of Sinai at the time of formation of cool deposition. Cool deposition, cool is a living organism part. Um, it's formed by um, beard of the tree for million years to form this cool. It's a living organism. Yes, let's find the answer here. Number E, geochemistry. No, it's not a geochemistry. It's not the answer. Uh, C, it's physical geology. No, it's not a physical geology. D, structural geology. I make a sheet. It's, this is answer, paleontology. Paleontology, it's mean uh, the living organism remains that found in uh, uh, the last age. Yes, the answer is B, paleontology. Yes, let's go to question number 25. Question number 25 is speak about the earth layers. Uh, earth uh, layers are many layers. Let's read the question first. If the mass of the earth's core is X, here speak about the core, core mass is X, then the mass of the earth's crust and the mantle together is approximately, they are uh, maybe similar in their masses. Uh, so it must, the answer must be 2x, not 2 over 3, not over uh, 1 over 3 or 1 over 2. It must be the answer is 2x because its masses is uh, approximately equal to each other. The Earth's core and the Earth's crust, mental and the mantle. Uh, uh, so let's go to question number 26. We speak about at the intersection of axial plane with the surface of layer forming the fold. No, no, it's not a crystal. It's uh, speak about the fold. For imaginary lines results, this indicates that the ratio between the axis and the wings, the axis of the fold and their wings, uh, so the ratio must be 2 to one, that's the answer. Uh, let's uh, go to read the question and uh, discuss it. Number A, two to one, four to one, one to one, or two to two. Uh, there are four imaginary lines to each fold that the ratio must be two to one between the axis and the wings of the fold. Let's go to question number 27. Question number 27, speak about air science. We have a figure, this figure has XX and moving in the rocks, YY and moving in the rocks. Let's read the question and answer. 
which of the following is true about the structure XX and YY respectively? Let's read the choices, then decide the answer. A, angular and disconformity. Angular and disconformity. B, disconformity and angular unconformity. That's X and Y. Number C, disconformity and nonconformity. D, nonconformity and angular unconformity. So the answer must be B, disconformity and angular unconformity. Let's go to question number 28. Question number 28, uh, speak about the ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt, uh, they uh, used many rocks to make their graves and their pyramids and their statues. Let's see what the, the question speak about. The mineral that ancient used to engrave on caves wall belong to the group of number one, carbonate, silicate, oxide, and sulfate. I think that oxide, because oxide has many colors and uh, um, have a strength to make uh, this uh, uh, writing and their caves. So let's go 29, 29, speak about the minerals. The minerals is uh, the building unit of rocks. Let's read the question and see what they need. Uh, the mineral are non-metallic luster of non-metallic luster, not a metal, uh, that does not belong to the silicate. One of them does not belong to silicate. It's the silicate is not found in their structure. Number one, quartz, calcite, flispar, and galena. The answer must be calcite. Calcite is made of calcium carbonate, not from silicate. Let's go to question number 30. Question number 30, speak about the crystals here. The crystal is, uh, uh, must be studied. Each crystal has uh, three axes. Let's see what the crystals here mean. Uh, let's read the question first. Study the previous figure and then determine to which crystal system does it belong. These crystals has two axes are similar and the, and the third one is not similar to them. So it must be, uh, let's read the choices first. Uh, triangular, uh, tetragonal, orthohombic or monoclinic. It must be orthohomb because there are two acts similar and the other is not. Let's go to question number 31. 31 here is a geological structure. The geological structure here is, let's read the question and then answer which of the following does not apply to the geological structure, X. which of them is not applied to this structure. Number A, high viscosity. B, its crystals uh, are of different size. No, it is rich of fossil. No, no, no. Uh, number D, it causes an anticline fall. The answer is no, no, no. It's not rich in fossil because it made of uh, uh, igneous rocks, not sedimentary rocks or a other. Uh, let's go to question number 32. Question number 32 speak about what is the rock that is formed from several minerals? So the all rocks are consist of only one mineral except one. Let's read the choices. Number A, flint. B, gypsum. C, bridotite. D, limestone. Only one consists of many minerals. Let's go to the answer. The answer is bridotite that consists of 
not only one mineral. All of them consist of only one mineral except peridotite. Let's go to these questions with two marks. We must read it carefully and think carefully before we answer them. Let's go to question number 33. Question number 33 is, is speak about the arm, the arm muscles. Let's read the question carefully. There are two marks. Uh, what causes the constriction worker to feel pain in arm muscles? Construction workers use their muscles to carry things. Uh, they have uh, uh, maybe they have not made any warming before exercise or before carrying these heavy things. Let's uh, find the answer. Number A, the conversion of glycogen molecules into glucose. No, it's not feel pain. Uh, increase the rate of anaerobic respiration in muscles. Let's go to read C. Uh, the abundance of ATP molecule resulting from aerobic respiration. Uh, the leak of ATP molecules resulting from anaerobic respiration. Leak of ATP molecules resulting from the aerobic respiration. The answer must be number B. B, the increase in the rate of anaerobic respiration in muscles. It, uh, they are feel pain because of lactic acid formed inside the muscles. Um, let's go to question number 34. Question number 34 is speak about the diabetes, diabetes, diabetes. again. Uh, let's read the question and find the answer. Two marks carefully. Let's go to 34. One of the symptoms of diabetes is feeling thirsty due to uh, the diabetic one uh, feels thirsty because A, the cell losing a part of its salt content. No, it's not the answer. Number B, exerting glucose in urine at uh, uh, glucose intervals. C, the cell Gaining water due to the high sugar concentration, no. Number D, glucose entering the cell membrane in large quantity, no. The answer, it must be number B. B means exerting uh, um, glucose in urine at uh, close interval. Uh, it means we lose many water and then the glucose uh, the, the diabetes feel thirsty. Let's go to question number 35. Uh, here we speak about aquatic turtle. The aquatic turtle produced a large number of individual despite being long aged because it is. Why? Why? It's produced a large number of individual. Uh, let's read the choices then. More vulnerable to dangerous, uh, it's exposed to more dangerous. Uh, number B, primitive in the structure. Uh, C, small in size, uh, free living. Yes, the question uh, answer is more vulnerable to dangerous. It exposed to more dangerous, so it produced a large number of, of springs.